Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome to Wednesday. And of course, that means it's Magazine Wednesday, and we're going to be running through all of the top stories of the week. But before we get to that, we have a very, very special guest here with us today. We have Nathan Lee Graham from LA to Vegas. How Hello. are you? Good morning. Good morning. And morning, our reporter, Mark Lupo, how are you? Hi, thanks for having me back. Of course, of course. So we have a lot to get to today. Um, this week's cover. Are Ben and Jen getting back together? We are going to go through all of that. We also have some news on Ari and Lauren from The Bachelor. And Taylor Swift may have found her man. But before we get to that, we have to talk about your show. Yes. Let's, so for people that haven't seen LA to Vegas yet, it's hysterical. It's on Fox on Tuesdays at 9. Tuesdays at 9, so 8 Central. 8 Central. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit about it. Listen, it's a fabulous show mm -hmm. that will make you laugh out loud mm -hmm. about flying literally from LA to Vegas <laughs> and back. I love that. So you know when you're flying out, mm -hmm. you have all your dreams are coming true. Mm -hmm. And then when you're coming back, some of them have come true and some of them <laughs> some not. Of them most, okay? Most of the time it's not, right? And you're usually <laughs> trashed. <laughs> so um, <laughs> it's just a fun show about that. I play one of the uh, senior flight attendants, mm -hmm. you know, and he's sass Bernard. Yes. He's sassy and sexy and snide and sneaky and all the S's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, he's fantastic and Dylan McDermott plays yes. our, our, our sort of, uh, I'd like to call him the Burt Reynolds 70s, oh. you know, <laughs> uh, pilot, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. that kind of man, you know, <laughs> yeah, lovingly so chauvinistic. I love mm. that. Yeah. And then Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell is the executive yes. producer of the show, right? Has Can he you been on this? set at all? He's not been on set, no. but I've seen him, of course, at mm -hmm. the studio, and um, he's so wonderful. That's good. In having worked with him in both Zoolanders. Right. And it's just amazing that he's our executive producer. Yeah. I love that. He hasn't come on set and spilled coffee on you? Like no, not Zoolander. yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> you know, every time he comes near me, I'm just a little, you know, right. just a little afraid. Just a little afraid. No. Uh, Lori says, <laughs> uh, love you, great show. <laughs> Do you have any um, disaster flight Thank you. stories? Oh, I don't. No? I don't, but I have disaster flight landings. Oh, really? Oh, that's scary. Now, for those who live in the New York tri state area, mm -hmm. LaGuardia is not the best airport to land in no. because yeah. it has a confluence of weather. Yes. And, like, the strip that you take off on is the strip that you land on. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of waiting for planes to clear. Right. And it's really weird because you've. I usually fly from Los Angeles. Sure. And I've flown all the way transcontinental, only to die in the last two minutes. <laughs> right, oh, yes. oh no! You know, I it's know. like what's, what? What is that all about? It is scary too, because like if you look out the window when you're flying into LaGuardia, it's just the water that yeah. you see, so it looks like you're about to land on the water. It it's literally looks—it's frightening, and then yeah. and there's so much turbulence just before you land. Uh huh. JFK is a little better, but, but LaGuardia, n and nothing against LaGuardia, I love right. it. It's closer to the city, it's great, if you land. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you know. Right. Um, so you have a few more episodes until this season wraps. Yeah, at least seven more, right. I think. Right, so yeah. what can we expect for the second half of the season? Well, you're gonna see Bernard uh, in his his environment. You, we yeah. introduced my apartment last night, right. on last night's show, so you'll see more of that. Okay. I have a big birthday episode coming up. Ooh. There are a lot of sort of uh, romantic entanglements happening. Mm -hmm. with with um, possibly Ronnie and Colin, okay. played by Ed Weeks and Kim Matula. And there's a lot of mayhem going to ensue. That's so great. it's just going to be more and more hilarious, hysterical, buffoonery, shenanigans, and chagrins. Yes. How, how about all of those I words? Love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, if you were stuck on a flight with one of your cast members, who would you want to be stuck with? Oh, you can't ask me that. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a fair question. No, I have no? to be on with all of them. All of them? Yes, I have to be stuck on with all of them. <laughs> so when you wouldn't want to be stuck on No. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't want to cause no. any problems. <laughs> um, what's been the most fun behind the scenes? Um, God, we first of all we all get along so well. Yeah. So that's super cool. And in between takes, Dylan will pe play like you know some tunes on his uh, iPhone, mm -hmm. and uh, so we'll all boogie down nice. in between takes. Um, we just are also caring for each other. And the script is so funny that we actually are laughing ourselves. Mm -hmm. And if we do like an alternative line, that's so funny. So we just are having a great time on that set. That's awesome. So when people see us having fun in the actual show, we are actually having fun mm -hmm. off you know, off camera as well. Right. Oh, that's great. Okay. And so, that's awesome. so you were done filming the season, right? Yes, we wrapped last Monday. Okay, nice. And then I flew right back home here so to New what, York. So what are you doing now that you're back in New York? I'm in working theater? on my I'm working on my uh, new album, uh, my first album. Very exciting. Um, it's a jazz album, so I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. So that'll be happening this year. I am determined to finish it. Um, there are a couple of play readings I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a, a musical, a summer stock musical. Oh, fun. In between, you know, 
uh, uh, this in the <laughs> second season. Oh my God. Um, I don't know if I can announce it. I think it's. A, I think I can announce it. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm doing I'm, <laughs> I'm doing the Wiz. Oh my God, um, that's so exciting! At the Muni in St. Louis, which is oh, one of the l cool. largest outdoor theaters yeah. in the country, and I'm playing the Wiz. So fun. So, um, duh. Uh, right. <laughs> Although some people were like, you could be playing, you know, Eveline, the yeah. evil witch, or Dorothy. Right. So there That'll you have be it. Fun. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. You're busy. You I'm are. The, I'm a busy beater. That's great. <laughs> and then when do you get back for season two? Uh. Oh it, when we get picked right, up, yes. um, that'll be happening in mid-July. Oh my God! Yeah. We, hopefully, you have time to sleep in. Between yeah, all I know. Of this. <laughs> but I am busy. I'm busy the the whole time. So oh, it's good. it's great. I love being busy. Oh good. It's well, busy. we're gonna keep you busy because we're yes. gonna go through all these stories in the oh, magazine. So I can't let's wait. get started. <laughs> uh, let's kick it off with Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner because are they getting back together? Not so fast. An insider tells us that while Ben has begged her to come back several times since their 2015 split, Jennifer is done. Now a source also tells us that Jen feels it's important to keep the peace and be a family unit for their three children. But as far as a romance, she's not going there at all. What do we think about this? Wow. You well, first. I think, <laughs> listen, I mean, Ben and Jen were married for 10 years. They mm -hmm. have three beautiful children together. They announced their split uh, in 2015, and uh, in between that time and the time they filed for divorce, they tried to work on things, and maybe there was a possibility they could get back together, but unfortunately, it just kind of didn't work. Um, and since then, Ben is, has moved on to his new girlfriend, Lindsay Shookus, who is a producer <laughs> at SNL, and uh, he seems to be very happy. And what's lovely is that his ex Jen is supportive of his new lifestyle. They're uh, seeing him in rehab and helping him to stay healthy and sober. Um, so I think, in a way, it's it's they're better apart, and they're working on being good co-parents to their mm -hmm. children and and uh, focusing on the family dynamic rather than uh, their own relationship, which is now dissolved. And I think for the best. Listen. <laughs> 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 it's hard enough to have a relationship, period. Yes. Right. But in the public eye as well. Mm -hmm. So all of that pressure. Yeah. You know, and, and they both have uh, careers that they want to maintain, and they have these wonderful children. Yeah. Three of them, for God's sakes. So I'm thinking, you know what? Uh, stay apart. Be kind to each other. Mm -hmm. Take care of each other. Yes. Uh, be supportive of each other. Take care of your family. Sure. Because in the public eye, it's just so much stress, mm -hmm. and he's doing really well, being off the sauce. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's, <laughs> and that's so is. and that's so great. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so um, and she needs an opportunity if she wants mm -hmm. to find the person that's going to be the best person for her, be right. the best partner for her right yeah. now. Well, I feel like she's been so consumed with everything that's been going on with him for so long. I mean, she's helped him through rehab, and she's been there. He still, like, stays over her house. And to this be is after the, the divorce. And this is after, after the divorce. So she really hasn't had time for herself, it feels like. Absolutely. And he's just, yeah. like, moving on. And she <laughs> looks fantastic. She looks well, she always has. Yeah, 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 that's her at the Oscars uh, just a, c a couple weeks ago, and she looks absolutely I fantastic. I mean, gorgeous. In that, yeah. in, in that beautiful royal blue? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. And you she, know? She's also staying busy. She has a film coming out this weekend called Love, Simon. Which I cannot wait yeah. to see. I saw it. Mm -hmm. It was great. And she was excellent in it. Um, and she's also, sources are telling us that she's kind of ready to move on and start dating herself. So she's, I think, taking it slow. But she's she's handling business at her home, too. Right. You know what? You have to yeah. take it slow when you have children. Sure. Because yeah. you don't want to bring some schlep into yeah. your house, <laughs> you know. That's true. Who's, who's That's not, right. you know, not good and not a good influence on no, your kids. No, totally. Yeah, Jenny says, I hope they work it out. Me too. I like, kind of like deep down, I really do wish they'd get back together, but I feel like so much has happened between the two of them that it's just not I think yeah. they have worked it out. out. Yeah, no, they have. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. I, think that the, I think that you don't have to always be married mm -hmm. in order to have a great relationship. Very That's true. true. So yeah. um, as long as they're kind to each other and support each other and you know continue to raise those children, Right ben and Jen will live on. That's I love right. it. I love That's it. Right. That's Perfect. Right. All right, let's move on to The Bachelor. Now, after fans of The Bachelor scrutinized the couple's sincerity after Ari popped the question to Lauren, sources are telling us that their road to romance has only made their happily ever after sweeter. With an insider telling us they have been through a lot and it's made them more of a power couple. Lauren will now be making the move to Arizona and is planning on teaming up with Ari and doing real estate and plan their wedding. 
Um, Nathan, do you know the backstory of what happened? Listen, I don't. Okay. So you have to tell me because, in full honesty and full disclosure, mm -hmm. <laughs> because of my busy schedule, <laughs> I don't have the opportunity to watch okay. The Bachelor all the time. All right. So Mark and I will break, we'll break it down. Please. So basically, Ari got engaged to this girl, Becca. He decided maybe like a month later that he did not want to be with Becca and he wanted to be with the girl, the runner up. So he dumped Becca yes. on live television. Yes. It was 40 minutes, uncut, uh. unedited. It uh. was brutal. <laughs> Broke this girl's heart. She had no idea what was going on. He was talking to the other girl on the side, ends up going to her, they get together, and he just proposed to her during like the reunion while Becca was there. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So the question is, should this other girl Trust him? Yes. No. <laughs> oh. The answer is a big fat no. no. Right. I'm sorry. Right. I mean, I don't even know why we need to go on with this conversation. <laughs> conversation the, is over. the conversation is over. <laughs> no. Uh, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. No in every language. No, 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 nope. nah, nada, no. <laughs> That's hilarious. My well, God. Our sources yeah. are telling us that it took a lot of convincing, but Lauren... It really didn't look like it took a lot of convincing, <laughs> to be honest. There were private conversations. He just showed up and she's like, okay. <laughs> there were apparently private conversations where he, he was like, you're the one, I, I believe this is meant to be, and apparently she believes him, and she's now head over heels in love mm -hmm. with him, um, and they're working on really making their romance work. In and, Arizona? In Arizona, <laughs> she's packed up her bags in West Virginia, and they're off they go to Arizona. Well... Um, Okay, I'm not gonna put down any states because that's <laughs> not right. But here, here's the thing. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Oops. So <laughs> um, she knows what he's done yep. and it's hard for uh, a leopard to change its spots, tiger with the stripes, I don't know, whatever the phrase is. Yeah. Uh, she's gotta invest a lot of uh, trust in him to mm -hmm. make this work and mm -hmm. it's like, he's gotta deliver. Yeah, oh yeah. Because Coming, doing that on national television, unedited. It was you know, rough. It was really that's it was a brutal. lot. And, I, and they can watch that again. Yes. Well, he said that they haven't. That he and Lauren haven't watched it together. Mm. <laughs> and it's a red flag right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a red flag right there. As a matter of fact, I would hold on to that because that would be part of my uh, deposition. Yes. Those are the receipts. Yeah. 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 Show me the receipts. Show me the receipts. And he, he did. But I have to say too is that when you're dating on reality TV, how well do you really know the person? Absolutely. You have to don't. spend some time now to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I know they're in Iceland right now and they're sharing lots and lots of pictures and videos of kissing, hugging, and being yeah. romantic and cute. Mm -hmm. That's all sweet, but they have to take some time now to really figure out what is it they want from yeah, each other. Yeah, because that's, that's a vacay romance. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you're on tour, that's a tour romance, you know? <laughs> yeah. You can do that, but when you get back to reality, right. it's like, Sure. And I'm certainly not going to move to another state mm -mm. to be with someone that I don't completely trust. Mm. So I, I would say just take it easy and take your time mm -hmm. and look for the signs. Yeah, well, that's what we were saying. We don't fault Ari for changing his mind because obviously you only know this person for six weeks and you have to get engaged to them. But it just seems like he and Lauren are moving a little too fast yeah. at this moment. Yeah, I would say yeah. so. That's just my opinion. Yes, <laughs> but Becca's going to be the bachelorette, so I think everything's going to be fine <laughs> <Yes>. for her. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our final story. All about Taylor Swift because for 10 months she and boyfriend Joe Alwyn have strategically been keeping their low-key relationship out of the spotlight which may actually be a little bit surprising since Taylor has gone through some pretty public relationships and some public breakups but a pal tells us weekly this is the first time she's kept the guy private she really likes Joe and she wants to keep her personal life separate from her work life what do we think about the two of them mm. That's a good question. I mean, <laughs> they're close in age. She's 28, he's 27. I was just about to ask, how old is she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, they're young. They're young and in love. They met uh, briefly at the Met Gala in 2016 while she was dating Calvin Harris. Mm -hmm. And so we're not exactly sure when they started their romance, but it's been about 10 months. And um, she says he's the one. She says that she really feels like she can be herself. She can be comfortable. She bakes for him. They're super low key, which is unusual because Taylor is always so public with her relationships, her brand breakups and we all kind of know the drama and this time mm -hmm. we're kind of in the dark about what's going on and she's taking a step back from her her girl squad mm -hmm. she's taking a step back from Selena Gomez her close friend and I think part of that too is that 
Selena's moved on to Justin uh, Justin Bieber, who uh, our girl Taylor is not a fan of. <laughs> and um, I just kind of like this. I feel like she's evolving into a, a mature young lady who is figuring out what she wants in this life and not so concerned about what the fans want or what anyone else wants for her, what mm -hmm. her publicist wants. She wants what she wants. Mm -hmm. So, Listen, I think uh, 28, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're going to be 30 basically very soon, and you have to be responsible for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Of course she is, she has a full-on career, but the right. thing about it is is that there are no, um, there's no way to go back from, mm -hmm. you know, uh, mm -hmm. relationships that you make now, the yep. older that you get. And so, I do suspect that he will be a part of some song yeah. someday. He has, oh, he no. has been. Yeah. Her, her, you know? al her yeah. new album yeah. is mostly about him. Yeah. yeah. So and, and, and it's probably really lovely, lovely. and mm -hmm. wonderful, and because she's an artist, and that's what's a part of her life. Sure. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, this girl has how many Grammys? Uh, a she's lot. ten. Does yeah. she have, does she, ten? And she's had about the same amount of boyfriends. <laughs> she has. Well, I'm just saying. Right. You know, one, yeah. Grammy for, for one Grammy for every boyfriend. One Grammy for every boyfriend. One Grammy in one song for every boyfriend. Right. Yeah. So it's like, um, you know, if this is a good patch for her, I celebrate that. I celebrate anyone who can find someone that they can be themselves with. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is really great. No, and I think it. I think she learned from her past relationships because she was so public with them. Mm -hmm. Like take. Tom Hiddleston, for instance, mm. they like literally traveled around the globe together. They flaunted their relationship in public, and I think now she just wants to kind of take a step back and make make sure that this is the right decision before she makes a public statement about it. And he's an actor too, I believe. Yes, yes. actor yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I also love is that I think Taylor, while she's taking a step back and getting ready for her tour, which is starting in May, she's also kind of taking a step back from the media and the feuds that she had with Kanye West yeah. and Katy mm -hmm. Perry. Good, good, yeah. good. And she's kind of just laying low and handling business and I like that new Taylor. I was kind of getting a little, you know, I was a little worn out, but I'm, yeah. I'm here for her new her new image. She's she's uh, cultivating a career mm -hmm. yeah. and that's so much uh, more important than, you know, just the latest song or just the latest sound bite. It's like, I, I want to do this in a long range and so in order to do that I need to pull back, yep. get my stuff mm -hmm. together, yep. you know, mm -hmm. and handle business. Yes. I like this new Taylor. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nathan, thank you so much for it's coming by. It's been my by. pleasure. Are we did already you? finished? I know. It went by so fast. It did. <laughs> but thank you. I loved your insight on everything. Well, thank you. Yeah. I love doing this. Of this course. is so fun. Great. And Mark, thank you as well. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, for the latest issue of Us Weekly, make sure you pick, pick it up on newsstands right now and head on over to usmagazine.com for all of the latest news. And make sure to check out Nathan on LA to Vegas on Fox at 9 p.m. on Tuesdays. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you next time.